I can't believe I got all this stuff for only $22. There is some really fun vintage treasures in there, so stay tuned for the haul video. Hey guys, my name is Missy, and I'm a full-time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. Um, this is a haul from yesterday's video that you seen when I went to the Goodwill bins. Um, I only spent $22. I cannot believe it. I got some really awesome, fun vintage things, and I am excited to show you guys. One thing um, I am super excited about, it does have a little bit of damage, but um, from what I could tell, it's list they are listed for quite a bit of money, but we will get to that in a minute. So we will get on to the haul. Um, like I said, I only spent $22.00. And I am going to show you everything that I got. This was one of the things that I got. It is just a wooden globe on a wooden stand. Or a wooden base, I guess. And the globe is not wooden, but I like it. It's really, really nice. I like the colors. And I just thought it was a neat piece. And my friend um, that you seen at the beginning of the video that I showed, he actually gave this to me. He was leaving and I guess didn't want it. So he gave it to me and I was happily happy to take it because I like globes. I know a lot of people like globes and my mother collects globes. So either this will be going to her or, um, I will be selling this, probably selling it because she's got a lot of stuff. So that is one of the things that I got. And then I got this and I can't believe that I found this, that nobody wanted it. And I, I it's in crazy because, okay, first I'll have to show you. It, okay, so the box was in a, in a bin, um, in a tote. And it was shut like this and it said glass pumpkin. And I'm like, ooh, intriguing. So I opened it up and sure enough, it is a glass pumpkin. It is wrapped in bubble wrap. It was all wrapped in bubble wrap. And I take it out of the bubble wrap and oh my gosh, it is beautiful. OMG, isn't that not, this is gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning. Big, large glass pumpkin. There's the bottom. Such a nice, nice piece. No chips or cracks. Absolutely stunning. So, yes, this went in my cart very fast. Very, very fast. I was happily to take that home and rescue that from the Goodwill bins. That was an exciting find for me because you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I love my glass. I collect glass. And as you can see, I have a big collection of swung glass vases right up there. And um, as soon as I reach 5,000 subscribers, as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away one of those bad boys. Um, that will be my giveaway. So if you guys don't forget to subscribe, so that way um, you can help me hit 5,000 subscribers and also share to all your friends as well. That would be great. Okay, then I picked up this cute little jar. I just thought it was adorable with a red lid and it's a bear. So stinking cute. And the bottom says Craft 19, 1988. I got my glasses on so I'll be able to read some stuff. Um, 1988. So I just thought that was a cute jar. And along with that jar was this jar. They're both in the same box. And I really like this one. This one is green and it says juice on one side. And then it gives measurements. And then it says water on the other side. 
and it is green, and I just thought that was a really nice jar. Craft orange juice is what it says it was. So awesome, awesome find, awesome rescue out of the bins. And then you see me pick up this, and I love it. Um, it is like a little bit rusty, but I just think that gives it character. Um, I don't, I think this is like a reproduction piece, but it is, it does show rust and wear. So I don't, I don't really know, but it does say comb and brush. And I thought that's awesome. You can hang it on your wall in your vintage bathroom display. How awesome. And it is metal. So that is cool. Then I know Christmas is over, but I could not leave this behind. It is so awesome. I had another one like this that I've sold, and it is a vintage music book. And look at that kitschy Santa. How stinking adorable. I absolutely love it. And I happily put that in my cart as well. Now, this thing... This is the thing that is worth quite a bit of money, what I can see from the listings online. Um, unfortunately, this one has had some damage, but I didn't want to leave it behind. I'll probably just go ahead and stick it in my own collection unless somebody, unless one of you wants it and wants to send me an offer, but it does have some damage. Um, it is missing an ear. And I was just going to see if Luke could make me another ear because this is wood, you know, and this one could pop out and he could trace it and I could paint it. But it is missing an ear. And then I just noticed um, this leg has been damaged. So that is unfortunate. But this is a Zenny Fuentes um, Irugina. And when I looked up that name, see how it's signed on the bottom and then it has a vintage foil Mexico sticker right there. Um, but when I looked up that name, the listings are quite a bit, quite a bit of money. And I will put what they're listed for up there. I couldn't really find any solds, um, but I'll put what mo a lot of them are listed for up there. So, again, that's the name, and I just love the colors. I think it's so cool. I believe it's an armadillo, but I don't really know. And it's just fun, all those colors, and it's wood. It's a wood carving, like I said. So, awesome, awesome piece. Unfortunately, like I said, it had damage, but I don't, I didn't want to leave it behind. Now, these were also in the new bins. I can't believe nobody didn't want these. These are Hager vases. They are newer. Whoops. Clank them together, Missy G's. Um, there's the bottoms. You can see that they are newer Hager vases, but they are Hager. And I, oh gosh, Missy, stop it. <laughs> They're fine. Um, I didn't want to leave them behind in the bins to get broken or anything like that. And like I said, on all the stuff, I only spent a total of $22. Actually, my total was like 21 something, but I always round up to support the Goodwill Mission at the bins because I love the Goodwill bins. Um, so $22 was my total and that was totally okay with me. But I love the colors, perfect for springtime and I love the shapes. You know, they're different colors, but they are Hager. Awesome. Let's set those back there. Okay, then I found this, and I thought this was neat. It was like a jewelry box, and I'm like, hmm, wonder if there's anything in it. You know, usually they're empty. It was at the bottom of the bins, and like I said, usually they're empty, but this one had a vintage money clip. It is a vintage money clip, and you can see it's like a um, sea or ocean scene. It's got like a whale tail right there, and then a sail, like a pirate ship, and then what is that? A lighthouse, and then another lighthouse, two lighthouses. So I thought that was cool, a vintage money clip in the case. Really neat. 
And then I picked up this and I thought this would be just something really cute to stick in a, um, see, I don't know. I was going to say mystery box, but I haven't decided if I'm going to do mystery boxes or if I'm going to just leave the stuff unwrapped and then just do, um, grab bag, grab, they're like, I guess I would call them grab bag, bo grab bag boxes, kind of like, I guess, I don't know. But I just thought this was cute. It's like a wooden window, glass pane, um, a little wall hanging, and it's got birds and a birdhouse, and then a saying, and it says, find beauty in every day. And I like how it's like crackled paint. And I thought that was a really cute, neat piece. And then I picked up a bunch of stickers. They had tons and tons and tons of stickers in the bins that day. Um, so I did pick up some. I picked up these Valentine's ones. These are all frog Valentine stickers. So they're all brand new. These... And depending on how much Valentine's stuff I got from my Valentine's sale, I might make a Valentine's grab bag box and just stick these in there. I don't know. We will see. But I got those brand new stickers. And then I just got these to stick on packages because I just thought they were cute and fun. And I'm out of stickers right now. I've been having to handwrite thank you on all my packages, which is fine. But stickers are fun. And then I found this, and unfortunately, I only found one, but I just thought it would be really cute for spring display. It is a candle holder. It is older, and it's a swan, and I just think it's so cute, and I like the detail. And again, if I could put it in a um, uh, grab bag box. And then I found some vintage costume jewelry. It is two bracelets and a matching necklace that matches the two bracelets. So, of course, I was going to stick that in there because it barely weighs anything and it's really pretty. So, I got that set. And then I was excited to get this set. I At first, I found this one and this one only. It's glass, no chips or cracks. I thought this would be really cute to make a vintage Valentine's assemblage out of. Um, but then I found this one that matches it. And they're so pretty and nice. So this set in this beautiful red glass, it is not flash glass. And I believe if you shine a black light on it, it might fluoresce. I will check it out in my sale. I don't have my black light on me right now, but you can see it's kind of orangey right there. Um, but these will be for sale in my next live sale because I'm going to have Valentine's in red decor. So this will be for sale. And I love them. They're just so pretty. I love the shape of the handles. They're gorgeous. Very, very nice. And then I found this. Now this is awesome. This is just a glass, a glass, blown glass ball. You can see it's cut off at the top. It's got a hole in it. Um, it's just some, you know, a decorative, decorative ball. You could put I don't know, you could do anything with it, whatever you wanted, but it is glass, and I love glass, and it's beautiful. I love the colors, so of course, I was going to rescue this beautiful art glass piece. I love art glass. And then I found these. Now, these are older handles. They are vintage. Um, and the vintage hardware is sometimes hard to find, um, depending on what you're looking for. And this is just beautiful. 
and it barely weighed anything and there's six of them in here so i've definitely picked up that bag i used to redo furniture so i know how expensive these can get hardware can get very expensive okay now on to the last sack of treasures I picked up this. I love this. You guys seen me push the button? Here, sweetheart. I'm going to tell you some of your favorite nursery rhymes. Let's start off with Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now, how about... Hickory dickory duck. Hickory dickory duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Oop, she's dead. I love this. I absolutely love it. It is not a big money maker, but I don't really care. It's in fantastic condition. Very, very good shape. No stains, no rips, no tears. Still very good working condition. And so I was happily, I loved Mother Goose and I still love Mother Goose. Um, and so I was really, really happy to pick up this animatronic Mother Goose talking toy. And I will put um, comps up there so you guys can see what they sell for on eBay. But I, I love it. I just thought this was awesome. So I definitely, definitely, definitely got this. And look at the glasses even. How stinking adorable. I love it. And then I found some vintage hats. You don't find these a lot in the bins and they barely weigh anything. So I was happy to pick them up as well. Really, really nice vintage ladies hats. There's that one. And then here's this one. This one's like kind of like a wicker style. Um, and it does have oh had fuss it does have there we go it's original label on the inside so i thought that was really nice very nice so i'll probably lot these together in a lot and then i also found a vintage purse now this is one of my favorite finds of the day I love vintage purses. I love them so much. And this one is in really, really nice shape for its age. I mean, it has, it looks like it's, I don't know if that's how it's made. Because it doesn't look broken in any spots. So I'm believing that's how it's made. But this one is older. And look at that handle, you guys, and the clasp. This is absolutely gorgeous and amazing. I cannot believe it was in the new bins right when I first got there. Um, so not a lot of people had looked in those bins, but I just I can't believe nobody had grabbed it. I absolutely love it. It has its original label on the inside, and it says made in Hong Kong. And it's like a vinyl leather on the inside and then red. Oh, I love it. Very, very gorgeous. And um, I will try to put some comps right here of some vintage wicker purses that have sold recently. But this was an amazing find. I was so happy when I found this right away. So I got that. And then I picked up these. Now I know um, these enamel pans can sometimes sell well. I find these a lot in my area, but when I find them, they are priced a little bit higher. And there's three different ones. There's a brown one, a black one, and a red one. So I thought that was so awesome. You know, they do show a little bit of wear. They are old and vintage, but not too bad. So I was, and I thought it was neat how there was three different colors. I thought that was so awesome. So I definitely picked up those enamel pans. I thought those were fun. Okay, so I'm going to 
And I don't think they say anything on the bottom. No, usually enamel's not marked. Oh, and then I picked up a couple things for Valentine's. For my Valentine's sale. It's cute. She still has her tags. She is adorable. She is a Inesco, um, a Precious Moments. The Inesco Precious Moments collection. She is a little plastic girl. She, her hair is a little bit wild and funky. But she's a Valentine's girl. Look at her face. I just think she's so cute. And she has her other tag right here. So she is a Valentine's Day girl. And I just thought she's so stinking cute. And let me see if I can find a year. Um, nineteen ninety one. 1991. She is adorable. Cute for your vintage Valentine's display. So maybe, you know, it's another thing that I could put in a lot. Um, I don't remember what the other thing I said was, but. Oh, those stickers. Yeah, that's right. And then I picked up this. Now this is so cool. It is a rolling pin, a little wooden rolling pin, but it has a slit in it. Now, what I thought, what or what I'm going to do with it, what I thought would be cool, because I have this big box that's full of vintage Valentines. And so, um, for, at my Valentine's sale, let me take this sticker off. Somebody had a garage sale sticker on there. Um, for my Valentine's sale, because I have a bunch of cards and I have a bunch of flower frogs and stuff like that. So, like... How cute is this? To take a little Valentine and stick it in there. And then it just sits flat because it's got a flat bottom. So how cute is that? Is that not adorable just sitting up as a vintage Valentine's display? So cute to hold your Valentine's cards. So I'm going to pair a Valentine's card. Maybe this one, maybe another one. Who knows? Um, but I'm going to, you know, put a pair of this wooden rolling pin with a Valentine's card and sell it at my live sale. This one's a little bit <laughs> floppy. Maybe I, you know, maybe I'll get a thicker one. Who knows? Let's see here. I don't know. We'll find, we'll find, or I could do two, you know, to make it a little bit thicker. Who knows? I'll figure it out. But I thought that was a really cute idea. So I am going to do that. And also I got a bunch of metal flower frogs that I'm going to stick Valentine's in as well too. Okay, so then I found the Shirt Tails, one of the Shirt Tails characters. What, how did, is it Tig? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. But it is... He's got his original tag right there in that one. And he is from 1981. He's from 1981. And spoiler alert, I left the bins and went to a flea market and found his buddy. So yay. I was happy to pick up him. And he's in really, really good condition. I love finding these vintage plushes in the bins, especially when they're in really good condition because they don't weigh anything. So that's, it's a lot of fun. And then I was surprised that nobody had took this. I know Christmas is over, but this is a blow mold candle. And Empire, it is stamped Empire Plastics Corp 1968. So this is an Empire blow mold Christmas candle from 1968. So I was very, very, very happy. There's the bottom. It don't have a light with it. You could probably get a light kit if you wanted to light it up but I was really happy to get that out of the bins a blow mold an empire blow mold yes please and then the very last thing which is my all-time favorite thing that I got out of the bins it's probably a tie with the vintage purse that I showed you that I got was this. This is awesome. This is a bolo. If you guys ever find these, um, pick them up. Be on the lookout for these. 
This is called a nosy bear. These are from the 80s. And there is several different styles of these bears and colors. Um, they're all bears, but they all, like, there's several different noses and colors. This one spins. Isn't that awesome? I absolutely love it. It still has its original play school tag. Um, and like I said, keep your eye out for these. These are a bolo item. Um, there's different noses, like there's heart ones that do something. There's popcorn ones. Those ones sell for quite a bit of money I seen, but there's all kinds of different ones. And these are so much fun. It's like hypnotizing, right? Oh, I love it. So fun. Such a fun, fun bear. So be on the lookout for these. And I will put comps up here so I can show you guys what they sell for. But he's, again, I just, I couldn't get over it when I seen him. And he was in the old bins. Nobody took him. Nobody wanted him. But I happily took him. I remember these from the 80s. Nosy Bears. All right, guys. So that was my haul. Like I said, I only spent $22 for all that stuff. Um... I think I got some pretty fun things. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below what was your favorite thing that I found um, this time out of the Goodwill bins. Um, I'm going to go again tomorrow, which you won't see that video for a few days, but I am going to go. I'm so excited. I love the Goodwill bins. Um, so yeah, if there's anything that you guys are interested in, feel free to send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters. Um, the link is in the description below as well. I also list on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Those links will be in the description below as well too. And then I also do live sales every Sunday and Monday at 6 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you hit that bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video and when I go live. Um, some days I will take, some weeks I'll take some, you know, uh, like a week or two off for live sales and just focus on working on my death pile, which that's what I did this past two weeks, but I will be back this Sunday for an awesome, amazing, fun vintage live sale, and I will have lots of vintage Valentine's stuff. So, um, like I said, make sure you hit that bell button so you're notified when I go live and when I post a new video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, don't forget to leave a comment and tell me what your favorite thing was that I got out of the bins. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.